What is going on guys? The Game and Ram here and welcome to Construction Simulator. I'll tell you guys right now, I was debating whether or not if I was actually going to buy this game. I was on the fence about it. And I tried not to watch any content, any videos on this game like whatsoever, so I wanted like a true blind re like reaction to this game. A couple days ago I decided, you know what? Let's buy it. You know? Let's go and bring something new to the channel, and that's what we're going to be doing, so. So, anyway, what you guys see here is right now we got to head to the boardwalk is because we have a job that we're actually going to be getting started on, uh, on doing. Uh, they want us to do something with the boardwalk. We're building some type of tourist attraction or something. Not 100% sure, but we will find out when we get over there. Uh, and the, I can't go that way. No, there's no road. There's no road. I can't go that way. I had to turn my graphics down. I'm running 1080. Not, what is it? 12? I don't know. It's I'm running 1080. Uh, I do have a 4K monitor, and I just cannot do it. I can't run it. My computer doesn't like it. It lags. So to make the gameplay smoother. I had to I have to run 1080 I don't want to but I am basically forced to so anyway if you guys remember back on my channel uh, I have played construction simulator but I played construction simulator us uh, whatever game version that was I'm not sure or what year of game that was and they want me to go this way so I'm gonna follow and now they want me to go the other way well Make up your mind, GPS. So anyway, this game... I'm going left. I don't know what they're talking about. They were just pointing me to go this way. So anyway, this <laughs> this game does have... Oops, wrong button. But this game does have fines and stuff. So if I run this red light right now, I will get ticketed for it. And I kind of don't want that, so we're going to have to sit here. And I don't know about the whole right on red thing, because again... Uh, the game isn't based, it's an American map, but the developers aren't from America, if that makes sense. So, most of the times, they don't, imp they don't implement the right on red, and even though I'm on, I, <laughs> even though I'm in the U.S. map, you guys see, like, European and foreign cars, uh, so, it's not really truly America, if that make any sense logical sense i mean you guys can see it but it's supposed to be a u.s i guess maybe they made it this light is too dang long okay i'm running it uh, okay i was just about to say this light is too dang long i'm sitting here um we're gonna have to run some lights i'll show you guys what i'm talking about see that you get a red light violation but i'm not going through that right now Oop. come on we can do that. We can do that here. They did fix the physics a lot better than the uh, the the other game I played. Again, I don't know what. Uh, probably Construction Simulator 20 something US Council version or whatever the heck. They, I don't know. Stop asking me. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, here is the boardwalk. This is what we're going to start working on here. Now, I don't know exactly what they want built out here. But they want us to build. Anyway, we got to talk to her because this is who we're meeting up with to see what we're doing. Sorry it took so long. Lights and all the traffic. All right. Hi. I'm happy to see a new face in the industry. I was hired to establish beach I was tourism not ready for the for that city voice. as a secure source of revenue and to draw upscale beach visitors and vacationers here. It's a long-term investment and an opportunity to make this city more attractive to its many residents again. Together, we'll make a few changes to transform this bleak place into a beach paradise with recreational offers and vacation facilities. This beach used to be noted in every tourist guide for this country and has always been a popular meeting place for a stroll along the water. Now, the glamour of the old days has faded and... Sadly, it barely looks the same. Everywhere, there are sandy paths, dirt, and decay. 
I'm happy that your company is accepting the job to bring this place back to life. Is you a port port? Let's not say that. <laughs> is you a port 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 poet? Oh, it. Boy, if you don't get no, that was wrong. Damn, I forgot. <laughs> you guys probably you see what I'm saying, but later that night. So this is all the equipment and stuff that you guys can buy. Uh, as you can see, they got a ton of different truck options, equipment, and and everything. And you can use every single thing here that you guys see. Uh, I'm glad they got some American trucks in here. I'm I in the last game I loved the Kenworth T880. So Kenworth Mac and Man and Sky Escadia. Uh, or Scania. I don't know why I got Scania. Like, what is Scania? All right. So anyway, we got to get a dozer. So let's see. I'm probably going to get go with the, the 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 case. Go with the case 25, 2050M. Like I say, I don't need, like, anything fancy. I just need, uh, I need this little guy right here. It's 3,340 CR per day. We got 99,000, so we, I don't think we're going to need it very long. I think one day should do it. And as far as a truck, we, we're going to have to have, we're going to have to rent a truck and trailer. Ah, shoot. Because <laughs> you don't got a truck. Oh, boy. We're going to get a trailer because I don't have one. Dang it, boy. All right. Well, that sucks. We're going to have to rent a trailer because, again, I don't have one. How much is the rent for the trailer? 800 a day? Eh. Yeah, sure. I got to get the truck, too. So, I need your cheapest truck possible. I, I Look, my budget is about $1,800. So, I need a truck that's going to be within my price range here. Actually, never mind. Let's get a Mac Anthem. Mac. The Mac Anthem. Let's get a Mac Anthem. So here is the Mac Anthem. I'm going to turn the game up just a little bit for you guys. So let's head over to this trailer. Let's get connected. And I need to get rid of that, that stupid GPS. Because the dang thing don't work anyway. I'm sorry to be doing this like right outside their house. I got this backup beeper. Quite a sight, huh, Ellie? But that, that's where they put the truck. So anyway, so far, this is one thing I like about this game, is you can actually get out and walk, which is very nice. So anyway, we're probably going to have to do it from inside of the truck, because... Ah, shoot. Here it is. Secure uncouple ramp extension. Ah, shit. You gotta stay in the truck. The camera is the only weird part that you gotta get used to. So, you have to drive this thing, like, individually, like, just like the real thing. So, it's definitely something to get used to. If you're not used to uh, two separate controls like this. There it is. So we're going to load this up on the Mac. And then while I'm over here, I'm going to just make sure I don't need any more equipment. But I'm pretty sure we're going to need another piece of equipment. Uh, that's one thing about this game is... You're going to be renting a lot of equipment, a lot of different st styles of equipment. You got to rent. Again, I'm sorry to be doing this like right outside their house, but this is where they put the dealer. All right. Let's see if we can get this. Take it nice and slow. We're going to try to get up on that trailer. You gotta hit both. I'm using a controller, by the way, and 
you got to hit both triggers like at the same time with the same amount of pressure to get it to turn the way you want to. Because if you don't, it's just going to turn around like a full a full circle. Come on, get over there, baby. There you go. Nice and slow. Come on, don't rush it now. Oh God, got the both. You got to do both at the same time. Great, we're stuck here. We can go this way. We're gonna have to redo it, man. Ah, dang it. I'll be back. Okay, we now have it on the truck. But before we head out, I gotta make sure that this is all we're going to need for this right now. Okay. They want us to get a gravel compactor, but we, look... We're not going to be ready for it because we got to get a dump truck. So we got to rent a dump truck to dump some uh, gravel. And then we got to get the gravel compactor. And then so we're going to be going back and forth to this place because I also got to get a concrete truck. And we got to get we got to keep the dump truck for at least two to three days. The bulldozer is now secured to the trailer. So now we're going to head back into the Mac. And we're going to lift up those ramps. Uh, the truck has to be running to do this. That's what I've learned. Uh, so if I hit this, which is X on the, co uh, the controller, you hit the ramp extension. And that's going to lift up the ramp. And I should have my, my light for my rotator. There we go. We got our rotator lights working now. So now we're going to be heading back to the job site, which is all the way back down south. Uh, we could fast travel if you hold Y. You can fast travel. You don't have to drive, which is amazing because it's very hectic to drive in this game with the red lights and the fines. Uh, you pay a little fine, like a little thing of like 140 or $84, which isn't bad. So here we are. We are at the job site. I'm going to get rid of this dang little marker because it's annoying. Uh, and now I still got the little marker down on the thing. There we go. Now it's gone. So, what we're going to do is we're going to drive up here. And we just had to pay our machine rental already. We didn't even use it yet. <laughs> but we're going to drop it off right here. Going to leave the lights on. And, wrong button. X. We're going to put the ramps down. Put the ramps down. Oh, you got to hit A. I'm an idiot. Ah, oh, shoot. I didn't mean to uncouple. Ramp. Again, you gotta stay in the truck when the ramp comes up and down. It's hydraulic, so... And now we can get out the truck. I'm gonna leave the lights on since I'm sitting on the side of the road. Oh, we gotta uncouple. We gotta unsecure the load. Unsecure it. There we go. And now we can drive the bulldozer off the trailer. We're gonna turn my lights on. And we're gonna put our rotator on. Since we're going to be working. Alright, now you're going to have to lift this... The arm that laid up. And we're going to bag it off. Yeah, I just ran over the comb. I knew I was going to run it over. I was like, how much you want to bet I'm going to run this comb over? Alright. And now, let's get busy. So what they want us to do is they want us to level the ground... Which sounds easy enough, right? So, if we hit... We're gonna lower this down. I don't know how far we're gonna have to go down with it, but... We're just leveling the ground. And... If you hit Y, I think it will show you. Like... For an example here, if you hit Y, it will show you, see? And you see how much more we still have? Back it back. Now this is this is gonna take a while because we gotta drive it back and forth. Because you're going one way with the dirt. 
drag it all the way back to that yellow line. We're already in driving mode. Okay, drop her down. You don't want to go down too much. You just want to go down just enough to level the ground. Bring it down a little bit more, though. This is going to take a long time <laughs> to go through all of it. Let's go for like the more noticeable ends instead of like the little ends because they're not very noticeable. I can tell you this, we're going to try to make this worth it because this stuff is expensive to rent. Like it is not cheap to rent this stuff. It costs a lot of money to rent it. So we're going to take probably rotate a little bit like this. pretty sure I just did the same thing but you guys see what I'm doing of how this works or how this looks so we're trying to knock down this big uh, heel part right here so I like the, the mechanics of this because this thing will actually pull you it will push you so that's nice it's very realistic feeling so I got to do another run at it because it pushed me off of the path that I was trying to run. And then we're going to put this pile over here so it's out of the way from the area that we have to work in. Probably going to have to do this again because that's a that was a big mound of dirt. So to make it look more level I'm gonna take it so they're telling me to basically get out of the area if you're somebody that that has to get it done you could finish it if you want to but the game doesn't it doesn't make you do it you know they're like okay that's good enough I know that this is getting tedious so uh, clear the area so we can get on with the next step but if you want to continue working you can continue working on it and doing what you want but we're gonna get out of here so now and as you can see we got paid for that and that's what I was saying is like even though you have to rent the machine you have to rent the equipment you will get paid for it so as you can see we got paid for that so we can technically get rid of this dozer I think I just hate to get rid of it but they don't make you drive that's what you got to remember so Realistically speaking, I didn't have to buy the truck in the trailer, but to make the game a little bit more realistic, I bought the truck and trailer the truck and trailer to make it realistic. So we can get rid of the dozer because the next step is going to be pouring concrete, but we got to make the foundation uh and a lot of the other stuff is just going to be like transporting construction supplies. So we're going to head over to our company, our vehicle fleet, and you will see the dozer, which is this guy right here. We're going to return this dozer so I don't have to drive. And we can, rental cost is 1017 We can pay for that. We got paid for it. We remember that. But, okay. Now that we're done with that, I we could technically get we can return the truck and trailer to be honest with you because we're not going to use it anytime because we already own a flatbed crane and that's all we're going to need. So we're going to return the truck that's 519 and then the trailer we're going to return it that's 252. So now we're done with all of that. So now we're going to get into our our crane truck. If you want to play this game sit like realistic you can because everything is animated uh if you look out your mirror you can see so the mirrors are actually animated the the little 
the hood mirrors they're they're really very nicely well animated that you can see all around this truck all right so what they want us to do is they they will have everything marked for us that we have to buy so as you can see they have this little uh the little box and it says zero out of two that means we have to buy two uh two quantities of it and i think that it's about it and that totals up to fourteen thousand two hundred. so look, to save myself the time the energy and the headache we're going to deliver it to the construction site so that way we don't because you guys know how a crane works let's be honest you know unless you live under a rock i'm pretty sure you guys are going to know how the crane's going to work anyway we do still going to need the crane because what we need to do is we gotta put it all in position so we're gonna fast travel you don't have to fast travel but i fast travel 